Well, after I did a year a year side by side comparison of a home light, home light, home light big Super XL with the Husqvarna 455 Farm Tough, which is the it was an old Super XL, which is I convert my first Super XL as a part saw to keep one going. So this time we're going to do this again on the Home Light Big Red and my Husky 455 Farm Tough. So they both got 20 inch bars on them. They're both 20 inch gas powered saws. And uh, they both are they both are at the range of 50 cc's. This is a 55 58 cc saw with a bigger piston and cylinder in it and the Husqvarna 455 Farm Tough is a 55.5 cc motor and uh, these are low low series of Farm Tough saws before they switch over to the ranchers and uh, you could still get these at Lowe's and in your Husqvarna local dealer but uh they still continue to making these saws, but they change them into a different color to a gray design fuel tank and and fuel tank on the back and the clutch cover as a next generation farm tough saw. But they don't no longer make these saws anymore. They made them from 1960s to 1990s, right before they went out of business. But these are very good saws, but uh, you can even kill a home light saws, but uh, but uh, I'll show you some some features. Top fuel tank and oil tank, they both run 50 to 1 mix. I got some, I finally got some oil, motor oil from my Uncle Daryl. I thank you for the motor oil, Daryl. And uh... I got some more empty jugs for you where you can refill them up. Refill those two other up for me. And uh But this this vein is a good quality saw, but I use it a lot last year cutting firewood with it right before the piston and cylinder locked up on me. And then December I used it again and it did locked up on me. And about two and a half months a year later, months later in 2024 this year I put a new piston and cylinder in it from the other Super XL which is it was in very good shape and it's been took care of so now this vein's got a fresh piston and cylinder in it the gasket was missing so I put one in it from the part saw to keep to keep that thing going so this is one of the working working home light saws I'm be able to get but I'm not going to be no longer running this XL, XL12, but it's retired. So I didn't fill it up yesterday, but I decided to leave it empty as a, as a little decoration for the parts for the other XL12 when I get one from the other farm to get the other one going and use that one as a part saw. Just in case. So um, back, back to these two. They are both very good farm saws. I use them around here on the farm a lot of times in a row. And uh, if you're wondering what this broken fuel line this came from, it came from a Husqvarna Straight Shaft 322L weed eater. But I, I, I'll go over there and show you what happened. What happened is the primer bob was broken. And uh, after that, I threw this piece of junk away and quit fooling with it. I drained the gas out of it and turned turned the ignition off and threw this piece of junk away. So I'm never working on this junk ever again. The cable on it was broken, so it's not worth fixing it. So I'm not going to be fooling with it ever again. So I will potentially buy a new one to replace it. And threw that one away. But I still got those other trimmers I'll still continue to use, the Troy Belt and the Home Light now. 
but I'll still try my best to get this uh, straight shaft uh, FS55 going. But it definitely needs a new carburetor and a new type of fuel lines. So I will potentially get a new carburetor for this thing. I will potentially get a new carburetor for it. But these saws do run real good. They both run real sweet. They both run real good. I'll start them up and let you listen to them for a little bit. It does start up on the first pull like on the 455 Farm Tough and the Farm Boss 291. it does work but I don't casually use it each time I want to but it does get the throttle stuck at the half open sometimes in a row Now for the 455 Farm Tough. Oh. I was making sure the Mac the magnets on the flywheel is still attach on the big red. So this one's a bit more modern than the big red. It's got a chain brake. It's got a decompression valve on the top. Kill switch is up, just like on the big red, and down is stop. It's got a primer ball. very good big saws and uh they're very good for cutting large trees but they both can pull 24 inch bars but I don't want to put a 24 inch bar on the big red because I don't want to cause it to get to get burned up because it don't even have enough power to pull that bar so I'm just going to use the two as a 20 inch gas powered saws but I'll I'll use 24 inch bars on on those two whatever I want to in case if a tree is a little bit too big. But uh, my dad 
use to run this saw a lot because he runs this saw a lot better than the home light. He used to run those home light saws a long time ago because they were too slow for him so he decided to quit using them and bought and he bought a brand new chainsaw to replace these so he just liked using the modern ones instead because they cut a lot more faster than the home light but the chain on this vein is new the chain was brand new it was on sale at Menard so I decided to get it to get get it cheap to get the new chain for it the chain on it was on sale but the pull on pro PR5020 runs the same chain as the Super XL you could still get them pull on pro saws at Menards and World Cane including tractor supply or on Amazon or online I'm not planning to buy a Poulon Pro, Poulon Pro PR5020. I'm not planning to buy one yet. So I'm just going to be saving my money to buy me a brand new uh, Husqvarna weed eater to replace the other one. The Free 22L, I had that weed eater for about almost uh, five or six years, six years ago. Then now it just had a broken primer bulb. And all of a sudden it didn't run right and I threw that piece of junk away. So I'm going to have to buy me a brand new Husqvarna weed eater. Or just buy a steel weed eater from my local dealer instead. But I'm only just picking an option. I think I might be able to get a Husqvarna straight shaft weed eater from Lowe's or from Menards. Menards sells one of them now with their cheap trimmers and their cheap saws and uh... <clears throat> well they, they are very good chainsaws very nice farm top saws I will intentionally do a a rematch home light big red versus Husqvarna 455 farm tough one of these days I don't have I don't have any wood at my shop to cut. I don't have any wood available to do some comparison on on those two. So I'm not going to cut anything today with those two. But if you want to see these two in action, go check them out on my chainsaw playlist where I was cutting firewood with these two. Well, but uh the grass is the grass is growing green. It's definitely time to do lawn cutting videos again. It won't be long after two weeks away. Grass will be grass will be fully green. I will get some fresh uh, fuel for the push mowers and the DR trimmer mower, and get them fueled up and refill the lawn tractor up and get them ready to do a card starting video on them probably sooner. Well, anyways, there's the side by side comparison on the Home Light Big Red 1996 model and my 2019 Husqvarna 455 Farm Tough. Anyways, I will attempt to do a battle between these two saws. It will take a long time for me to do one, but I will definitely do one of those, do those two again. Including the steel MS-291 Farm Boss. Just like I did from two years ago. Go check out the video of the Husqvarna 455 Farm Tough versus steel MS-291 on my channel from last time. It was one of them small little trees I tested them both on, but I just want to find, I just want to have something a little bit bigger for the two. But that was at least two years ago. The video I did was two years old. Go check it out. I, I still got it on there, but it was made from two years ago. Anyways, thank you all for watching. If you liked this video, leave, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment and tell me what you think. Tell me if you want to see 
the Home Light Big Red versus Husqvarna 455 Farm Tough again? Let me know. Alrighty. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.